Yo, what's up guys? Uh, this is gonna be another trip to the thrift video. I have no idea what number this is though. Um, I came up to Canton today, uh, going to the Goodwill bins. I don't know what the procedure's like in there. I did read the sign, it says you have to wear a face mask. I only have this one that my girlfriend left in my car, so uh, I'm gonna have to use this, but I'm excited to go in and start thrifting again. So yeah, let's get right to it. So we just got out of the bins. Uh, I'm gonna go eat and come back. I was only there for like an hour. Um, I really don't like the setup they have going. Uh, basically, there's like less bins and you can't like go into them until everybody's done putting stuff out. So it just makes it a little harder. But anyway, I only spent $11.42 and I got some really good inventory. So let's start going through that. First up, I found this nice vintage Aeropostale uh, like denim jean jacket with the Sherpa lining. Uh, Aeropostale is a really bad brand for resale unless it's like something cool like that, like a vintage piece or like something denim or uh, Sherpa line. So those all work together uh, and that's probably a $25 piece. Next up, we have these American Living swim trunks. The only reason I picked these up is because they're new with the tags. They had an original $45 tag. Um, I don't think I can get much for these, maybe 10, 15 bucks. Next, this one's super cool. Uh, I forget what it was, but it was Cash Lux. Cash Lux is like a type of uh, thing that Christian Dior makes, and Christian Dior is a really good brand. Uh, this is a really small scarf, but this one will sell for at least like 20, 30 bucks, so this is a really good pickup. Next up, I found these True Religion World Tour uh, denim leggings. Uh, True Religion is a great brand to look out for. Um, I don't know exactly what the comps on these are, I just picked them up when I found them, but um, I've sold True Religion jeans for upwards of like $80, $90 before, so this is a really good pickup. Next up, we have this vintage uh, plaid flannel. I know it's vintage because the artist who made it, I don't know who it is, but it's from 1995. There's no tag in it, but I'm just gonna list it as vintage plaid flannel. Uh, I don't know what the brand is, but we're gonna see what we can get out of this. I think they can probably get like 20, maybe 25 for this one. So this is also a good piece. And this is the first thing I actually found when I was in there. It's this vintage LL Bean. It's a very, very basic white uh, shirt for women. Um, I don't know how much these go for, but I paid like nothing for it and I've always done go with vintage LL Bean. And then we have this ODO. Um, it's like a silk dragon shirt. Uh, these actually had good comps right around like $20, $25 and they were selling pretty quickly. So uh, I'm happy with this one. This is a kind of a really cool shirt. I never would have looked this up if it wasn't for this pattern. Then we got this uh, Hailstorm uh, 2016 tour shirt. Uh, these were going for like 15, 20 bucks. Then another simple pickup is the is this uh, Levi's plaid flannel. Um, I like this one because the colors. Uh, this is a new one, so it's not vintage. It won't sell for great money, maybe 20 bucks, but uh, that's a good flip. And then we have this vintage Carnival Cruise Line t-shirt. This one's cool. Um, the comps on these were anywhere from like 15 to 25, but I just thought this one was cool, so I picked it up. And then last but not least, we have this vintage Hayband uh, button front shirt. Uh, I was looking these up, and the ones that looked similar were, they were listed as, as disco shirts. So that's probably what I'm gonna list mine as, but these were going for like 20, 25 bucks, so uh, this is also a really good flip. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do another haul after that. So we just got out of the bins for the second time today. Uh, I'm gonna go to a couple other thrift stores, but I'm not gonna go back into the bins. Um, so I spent $27.32. So I got a lot more stuff this time, but I got a lot better stuff as well, I think, in my opinion at least. So let's start getting going through it. So first up, I got this pair of New Balance Fresh Foam, Fresh Foam running shoes. I didn't find this colorway, but I did find the shoes in particular, and they sold for right around $40, so this is a good pair of shoes. Then next, we got these Tommy Bahama um, like men's shorts. They're like a linen silk blend, which is a really good blend for anything. Um, I didn't look these up, but I'm thinking I can get at least 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Then I got these vintage Nautica swim trunks. Um, they're pretty cool. They have like a floral pattern, but they don't say Nautica anywhere on them besides this little tag down here. But the good thing about them is they're double XL, so I think I can get at least like 20 bucks for these, and these are really light. Then I got this piece. This is really cool. It's got an awesome pattern. The problem with it is, is it's just the Chaps brand. Uh, Chaps doesn't really sell by itself. It's, if it was Chaps Ralph Lauren, this would be a really good piece. Um, but I think I can still get $15 just because of the pattern on this one. Then next I got these basic Wrangler light wash jeans. These kind of smell like smoke a little bit, but um, 
as long as I put that in my description, they should be fine. Uh, I usually get like 20 to 25 bucks for my Wrangler jeans. Next up is another pair of swim trunks. Uh, it's going into summer. It's, I mean, I guess it's been summer for a little while, uh, but I pick up swim trunks if they have something cool about them. These are, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name, but I know it's a type of beer, I guess. Um, but they're pretty cool swim trunks. I think I can get at least like 15, 20 bucks for these ones. Then this is kind of like a, a gamble. Um, the brand is Prada. I'm sure you've heard of Prada. Uh, it's just this basic women's dress. It feels kind of cheap, but I don't know how these dresses are supposed to feel. Uh, so if this is real, it's like anywhere from 80 to $300 depending on the pattern. But if it's fake, um, I can still flip it in like a Facebook group for, for probably 20 bucks. Uh, so that's not, it's a gamble, but it's also, I'm for sure gonna make money on it. Then next up, we have this uh, vintage Denver Nuggets t-shirt. And then same thing, we got this vintage Adidas um, Pirates, Pittsburgh Pirates t-shirt. Uh, this is probably a 15, 20 dollar piece. Then this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite finds. It's this Calvin Klein's jeans. Uh, it's not vintage, it's newer, but it's just got a really cool embroidery on it. Um, I think If this fits me, I might keep it, uh, but either way, I think I can sell it for at least 25 bucks. Then I got this, uh, it's called White Sierra. It's like a fishing shirt, I guess. Um, the only reason I got it is because it's new with the tags. Uh, it was an originally $55 price tag, so I think I'm gonna list mine right around 2025, give someone a good deal, and then um, make a little bit of money. It's super light as well. Then I got these Adidas shorts. Uh, these are for me, these are a personal pair, but uh, I'm always looking for new shorts in my size. And then we got these Wrangler light wash jean shorts. Uh, Wrangler jean shorts usually give up at least 15, 20 bucks. Uh, some, some of the models are rarer than others, so we'll see on these ones, but at least 15, 20. And then this one was really cool in my opinion. Um, I used to buy a lot of sweaters when I first got into reselling and I have a lot of them sitting So I don't really unless they're really cool anymore, uh, but this is a vintage John Ashford made in Italy wool blend sweater um, This one is cool because it has these things which I don't even know what these are, but uh, I think I can get at least like 30 bucks for this. Uh, I just picked it up because I thought it was really cool. Then next, I don't really buy ties a lot because ties, uh, they go for a lot of money in stores, but usually in like on resale, they don't go for a lot. Uh, but apparently vintage polo by Ralph Lauren ties sell really well. I looked this one up and uh, one similar to this, we're going for like 20, 25 bucks and ties are obviously really light. So it'll be cheap to ship and it was cheap to buy. Uh, these were just sitting on top of one of the bins. Uh, it's this pair of Miss Me uh, jeans. They have like the cowhide. Um, I didn't look these up because obviously I know they're worth money. Uh, I'll look them up when I get home, but this is a really nice pair of jeans and I've sold Miss Me jeans for very high amounts before. Then we got this North Face. Uh, the North Face, it's a kid's uh, Denali fleece jacket. Um, the kids ones don't go as well, maybe 15, 20 bucks, but uh, it should be cheap enough to ship and it was cheap enough to buy. We also have this Suicide Squad um, like track jacket. Uh, this is like for a Halloween costume. This one in particular goes for like 80 new on eBay and there was only a couple sold uh, used for like 30. So this one I think I'm gonna price up a little bit at 45 and just wait for Halloween for it to go and sell. Next is this women's Adidas climate proof jacket. Uh, this is just super light. These are this kind of stuff is not high money makers, but it will sell for okay money. So I think I can get 15, 20 bucks for that one. Then I got this green um, Bengals Nike team jersey. Uh, these were going for a lot new, uh, quite a bit less used, but I think I can still get 20 bucks for this one. And then we got this vintage Indiana Hoosiers t-shirt. Um, this is not big money at all, but uh, maybe 15 bucks to the right person. And then this, uh, I actually got when I was checking out, I saw it in one of the hard good bins. It's this vintage champion double XL track jacket with a spell out down the sleeve. Uh, these go for not a lot of money, maybe 20 to 25 bucks, but uh, with my experience with vintage champion is that it sells pretty quickly. And then we got this NHL Reebok uh, hockey jersey. Uh, I don't know this team, obviously it's New York, but I don't know what it's called. Um, so I didn't look this up, but usually my kids hockey jerseys go for at least 20 bucks. Uh, some of the rarer teams, jerseys, sizes, that kind of stuff goes for uh, 30, 35 bucks. And then last up, we have this really nice Michael Kors beanie. Uh, I would have picked this up no matter what, but this one just happened to be new at the tags and it was originally $88, which is um, mind boggling to me. But um, 
I didn't even look this one up because I might just, if it's not worth anything, I'll just keep it. But I'm sure I can get at least like 20 bucks for this. Uh, and this is a super cheap hat, and, or a uh, super light hat, so it was easy to buy and uh, it'll be super cheap to ship as well. But anyway, I'm gonna go to the uh, other thrift stores. I don't know if I'm gonna film there or not, but if I do, I'll throw it in the video. And then if not, uh, we're gonna just go home and start listing the stuff. So I'm gonna go through this stuff I got at this thrift store really quick. Um, first up is this gold Notre Dame sweater vest. Um, it's like a half zip sweater vest. Uh, it's only 99 cents, half off, so it's 50 cents. Uh, I think this is at least like a $20 piece, so this is a good one. Then we have this vintage Cozum Cozumel Island t-shirt. Uh, again, only a dollar, so this is a good pickup. Then we have this basic Jordan tee. It's nothing like your first, 1991. Uh, it's again Jordan on the sleeve in there. Uh, it's half off of four dollars, so two bucks. Then I have these LL Bean jeans. Uh, I'm paying up for these and paying six bucks, but I found an exact comp for these flannel lined ones for uh, twenty-seven dollars plus shipping. Then next we have these two vintage baseball jerseys, uh, both the same size, same brand. Um, these are three dollars half of after the fifty percent off. I believe I'm gonna get like twenty bucks a piece for those. And then last up, we have these three identical uh, vintage Rawlings uh, baseball jerseys. These are the short sleeve version of the Rawlings ones. Um, I think these I can get at least 20 bucks for, and these are each two bucks. All right, so I just went to another Goodwill. Uh, that was the last Goodwill. I know there's no more on the way home, so I'm not gonna stop anywhere else. Uh, I spent way too much money in that Goodwill. I spent uh, like 53 bucks. Um, a lot of the stuff I think was supposed to be half off and she didn't ring it up as half off, but I guess it's okay. So we're gonna go start going through the stuff and yeah. First up with this vintage cotton exchange Ohio Northern University shirt. Um, I think I get 20, 25 bucks for this, but I'm actually gonna keep this one. I like to collect uh, old college shirts. Then we have this super old, I think it's 80s uh, Notre Dame basketball jersey. This one's super cool. I didn't look this one up, but I only paid like 350 for it. So I know I'm gonna make money on this one. Then again, another personal piece. This I thought this Adidas uh, Japanese shirt was really cool. I don't even know if I can sell this one, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna keep it. It's super nice. Then I got these vintage uh, Speedo swim trunks. These are a men's XL. I paid, uh, I thought I was paying 350, but I think she rang them up as $7. Uh, these only go for like 15 bucks, so I might not make a lot of money on those if she rang them up wrong, but uh, either way, I'll make some money. Then I got, uh, this one It's this Lacoste women's polo size 44 and then I also got uh, Another one same size Lacoste women's polo size 44. Uh, these were 350 a piece. So seven bucks in total Um, I saw lots of two of those going for like 25 bucks on eBay and then something else for me It's these vintage Schaefer shorts um, I've always been looking for new shorts. So uh, it's just a nice pair of vintage ones Then I got this Adidas soccer ball for myself um, it was only five bucks. I could actually sell it for like 20 if I decide to, but uh, I'll probably just keep it. I need a new soccer ball. And then we got this uh, Mega Constructs Destiny uh, figure thing. Uh, I paid five bucks for this. I saw these going for anywhere from like 20 to 25 plus shipping, so this is a good piece. And then my favorite find from in there is this uh, vintage Tyco lego landline phone at first i thought this was just a toy but i looked and uh it is like a real phone uh it's from 1983 all the buttons seem to work i'm gonna have to test it when i get home but uh these were going for like 80 uh anywhere from like 60 to 80 bucks so this was a really good pickup because i only paid uh seven bucks for it so that's it for today uh, i'm going home i'm gonna list all this stuff i'm gonna edit this video and try and get it out i haven't posted in like two weeks mostly because i haven't had uh anything to process my sd card uh, I recently bought a GoPro and that's what I've been filming on all day and um, I needed something to process the GoPro footage. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to have a garage sale video out in a couple days. I'm going garage selling with my friend tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, make sure you subscribe and like the video and yeah, thanks for watching.